This is the story of my finishing move, the stomp. Uh, I, I will say, first of all, I can't take credit for inventing the move. I did not. Uh, I did not innovate the maneuver. I, I, I stole it, yanked it from a Japanese legend, Naomichi Mare Fuji. He used it to expertise for years. Uh, so I took it from him, and I was kind of using it as a setup move for a long time. And then I was on a live event loop, one of my first ones with WWE. And this was eight, nine years ago, probably. And I was wrestling Tyson Kidd, TJ Wilson, the producer in WWE now. I did the move to him and he, he, he thought that it was so impactful <laughs> that I should use it as my finish. He thought that it was a move that I could do uh, to anybody at any time, didn't take a whole lot of a setup. And so I transitioned away from using uh, what I was using at the time and to the stomp. Use the stomp early on, uh, especially in my singles career when I split from the Shield in WWE. It got me all the way to the main event at WrestleMania where I was able to uh, you know, beat Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns in the same night, cash in my money in the bank contract, yada, yada, yada. And then the next day, the next day I go to the Today Show, um, and our, our boss, the one and only Vince McMahon, saw the highlight package, and he thought that um, the move actually looked too vicious for his champion, for the guy representing WWE, so he asked me to change the move. Uh, I was not I was not interested in changing the move. I loved the move. I thought it was great, it was super safe, and it was awesome, um, but he got it in his head that he wanted me to do something different, so I had to drift away from it for a while. Uh, and then when the time was right, I found my opening and I was able to convince him to allow me to bring it back. And so hopefully it's back for good because uh, it's, it's very, it works well for me.